Oh my gracious, y'all. I'm not believing what my eyes are seeing at all. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna believe it either. Y'all look at this. So I was just walking by. I've cleaned out, Brooke cleaned out these waters once this morning and I just cleaned them out again. As I'm passing by, I just noticed something. And y'all, y'all look at this. I have never seen this in my life from this lovely lady right here. Who y'all know is the farm boss. And that's Peaches, the pop belly pig. Am I seeing this right? Am I seeing this right? I wanna make sure everybody sees this on camera, okay, boss lady? <laughs> You've been here for like eight years now, yeah. And we have tried mud wallers with you over the years. And you have never liked mud. But are you telling me now that you're in a mud waller? Is that what you're telling me? Huh? You're in a mud waller? It looks like you done got your water dirty already because... Brooke just washed these out uh, five minutes ago, and I'm assuming that's where all this water behind here came from. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing that the Gus Bus and Lovely Loretta are rubbing off on you, and you may be realizing you're a pig. Is that what it is? Hmm. Is that what it is, girl? Hmm? That's what I think. Let me empty these back out. I mean, Brooke just cleaned these out. She just dumped these over. That's right. Peaches is eight years old. I've never seen Peaches get in the mud. Now, we've tried it many a times, y'all. We've made her mud wallers so many times. And she's never gotten in them. Never. Doesn't like to be squirted with a water hose. Doesn't like the mud. She's a diva. But I'm starting to wonder if the old honeymooners are rubbing off on her because she is playing in the mud this morning, y'all. And I have never, ever, ever seen her do this before. Ever. Ever. Loretta, you see this? Yep. Peaches was in the mud. She was. All right, Peaches, let's give you some more mud here. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. And, and y'all have seen it. If you've been with us for all these years, y'all have seen it. Peaches does not like mud. And the fact that she was in mud this morning is uh, it's a little funny, actually. <laughs> Maybe all this time she didn't want us to see her in the mud. And she's been secretly getting in the mud. You reckon that's what it is? Hmm. I'm cleaning out these waters that Brooke just filled up 10 minutes ago and I'm going to give you a little bit more mud. Y'all look at her over here in this mud. That is quite comical. She's even rooting y'all. Look at this. Peach. You gonna say anything, Peaches? Ooh. Ooh. Y'all saw that? Peaches just told lovely Loretta to back off. This is my mud. Loretta wants some mud too, but what it is, Loretta's got mud down yonder. She's got mud right over there. All right, Peaches, let's share some mud here. Mama fixed me go in there and cut their grass this morning. Yeah. Let's give Loretta some mud, okay? Y'all look at that crazy thing. Peaches, you ain't got quite on that level yet, girl. Should I try to wet Peaches and see if she likes the water hose now? I mean, she's liking the mud. Should we check the water hose? Let's cut it down just a little bit. 
Let's see. Let's just get her back in just a little bit. No. She didn't care for that. You didn't care for that, did you, girl? Let me make sure. No. No. Okay. Well, one step at a time. We got mud today. Maybe in a couple of weeks you'll like the water hose, okay? That work? Y'all look. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Peaches? Peaches, are you turning into a pig? All right, I think she's done. Jesse, let me ask you something. Listen, I know you're new to the farm, and you're kind of a rookie around here, okay? And I know you don't want to cross the boss lady. I understand that, but... Has she been getting in the mud secretly and not letting us know? Hmm? Can you tell me that? You can just keep it. Really, you haven't seen her? Okay, so this may be the first time ever caught on camera, huh? Is that right? Okay, this might be the first time, y'all. This might be the first time. Jesse, I must say, I am proud of her. I am going to tell you that. I am proud of Peaches. I am, because it cools her off. And maybe she's realizing that it cools her off. What you think? That's what I think. When are you going to get in the mud? Hmm? When are you going to get in the mud? After you get through loving, you're about to push me down, Jesse. You're about to push me down, Jesse. Yeah, she's done with the mud. Now, this is typical peaches right here. This right here is typical big diva peach right here. Hey, girl. I do want to tell you that I am excited you got in the mud. I think it's awesome. And I think you're going to find yourself enjoying it. And I will start making you a mud waller every day, okay? Okay. All right. Well... I'm going to go squirt this down a little bit more. If you want some more mud, you got it. Okay? All right. All right. Yeah. You have a wonderful day. Can y'all believe that? I can't believe it. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't. <laughs> She's never gotten in the mud. It's, it's like it's something gross. She just starts tiptoeing around it. Oh, get me out of this. But today, Peaches was full on pig mode this morning. Full on pig mode. The honeymooners, y'all, they got wallers. Look here, we got one here. We got a waller here. Um, they got their pools that we're fixing to clean out. They got wallers over here. So I'm guessing Peaches has just been eyeballing them from her spot, seeing these guys having a lot of fun in these wallers and decided she was gonna give it a shot. Hey, Loretta, I know you can't hear me, girl, but I I wonder if Peaches, well, she's got a pool. I was going to say, she, she's got the turtle pool. If she gets in that turtle pool now, I, I may have to call her vet and, and it, get her head examined. You know what I mean? If she does get in that turtle pool, we well, something's off. Okay? Something's off. Oh, Loretta. <clears throat> Don't knock me down. So, you cleaned out the waters the three little waters right and i just so happened to be walking by and where you dumped that water out and made a waller and peaches was full-fledged in the waller what full-fledged in the waller peaches peaches jason so i dumped the waters out Loretta. again i know i dumped the waters out again and made it even bigger and she still hung around in that waller are you sure it wasn't Loretta? Oh, I'm sure because her and Peaches had some words at the fence. Oh. Yeah, they had... Peaches let her know that this was her waller, and she could come back over here to her waller with her husband. I gotta see this. She's Peaches a... in the mud. Well, I had to show you on video because she's laying back down again. She you was in there... You're gonna have to show me because... She was in there when I came over there, and she was in there a good 10, 15 minutes after that. Well, that's something that I do every day is dump those waters out, and I've never, ever seen peaches in the mud. In eight years of peaches' life, we've never seen her in the mud. So what's that tell you? 
I think the honeymooners are rubbing off on her. Well, you know, all this time we've been thinking that she didn't think she was a pig. Oh, I know she doesn't think, but I'm thinking but, now. Yeah, maybe since maybe since Loretta and Gus came, she realized that they're making the same noises yeah, that she makes. Maybe so. And that that she is a pig. Or she thinks she's half pig. Well, whatever it is, it's <laughs> totally out of her behavior. It's way out of her behavior. Gus, hmm. did you have anything to do with this? Gus said that he's staying out of this. Gus looks like he's chewing bubble gum. <laughs> Gus is eating that grass you just cut. <laughs> oh my gracious. Look at Gus. He's been in the waller. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, I mean, me too. This it, is a good thing yeah. because pig, pigs don't sweat. It cools them off. It cools them off. Yep. And and up until this point, Peaches just hangs out in the just shade. She's using the shade to yep, cool off. I agree. This day's for the pigs. <laughs> One thing for sure, buddy, you do not mind the water hose at all, do you, Captain? Maybe it's been you this whole time that's been teaching Peaches how to get in the mud. I don't know. Look at you. I know it. Hey, if Peaches starts eating under my shoes, I know who the culprit is. Oh, my goodness. Got me soaking wet. I want to go check on the little chicks this morning. Let's see what you guys are looking like this morning. Hey guys, how y'all doing this morning? Oh my gracious, y'all are getting so big. I hear your mama pulling up. Yeah, that's definitely a rooster right there, y'all see? Definitely a rooster. Oh, y'all are getting big. Wow. I was just coming to check on y'all. Y'all got feed. Y'all got water this morning. And, uh, y'all keep growing. We'll get y'all moved out of here pretty soon. getting over this whole mud situation we got here on the farm <laughs> we got to do something today that um man y'all this weather has just really got my whole fall garden and just turned upside down on its head i've usually started fall garden seeds by now i usually do that in the middle of august here it is the end of august and we're still really really hot we're showing temperatures we got a cool spell this week where we're gonna be in the 80s, but then they're showing back up in the 90s again next week. So, I'll be starting fall garden seeds in the next week or so. I will be doing that. If I start them now, y'all, I've just got a feeling they're just gonna shoot up real fast and bolt. All that being said, this area right here is where I would love to do my fall garden. Now, this is where we had the sunflowers planted this year. This is where the flower garden was last year and it's done we let all the birds pick all the seeds out and once we realized there were no more birds in here and that it was finished brooke came in here matter of fact yesterday or day for yesterday and chopped it down so what i'm wanting to do is, is go ahead and get some tarps on this and get this tarped and getting it ready for the fall garden probably what i'll do is i'll tarp this for a week or so pull it back Let's run the spring plow through it and get some deep cultivation and some deep penetration in the soil. And then probably we'll till it and get a lot of this dead weeds out and get it turned over back into the soil and tarp it again until it's time to plant for the fall. And hopefully by then, uh, it'll be ready to roll. I'll be pushing it though. <laughs> I'm gonna be pushing it 
uh, you know, all, all of our focus has been on the barn and the pastures. Add this crazy, insane weather we've had this summer on top of it. Whoo! All right, y'all, we got it. We got the tarps put out. And man, it was it is supposed to be cooler this week, but y'all, I'm telling you the truth. I don't believe it. I do not believe it at all. It is to me it's just as hot. But anyways, we do got the silage tarps down. If you guys don't know, we love tarping the gardens. If you don't know the benefits of tarping, I'll give you a, just a real quick recap. Now, these are silage tarps. Uh you can buy these at Hoss Tools. Um, they're, they're everywhere if you just Google silage tarps. Most of your um, garden centers or garden supplies have a silage tarp. What makes a silage tarp different than a, just a regular black tarp is usually UV treated. That, that's usually the main, main difference is that it can handle sun. And so these are going to last a good bit longer than your plain Jane black plastic that you would get from Home Depot or Lowe's. They are more expensive. For that reason, you're gonna pay a little bit more up front because it's gonna last you longer versus your black ones. The black ones are gonna be cheaper, but they're not gonna last near as long as these. So you just have to buy another one and another one. But listen, like I always say, everybody's different. Everybody's farm's different. Not everybody may be able to afford a silage tarp and the only thing you can use is a regular tarp, black plastic. That's perfectly fine. Always do the best you can with what you have. The benefits of tarping, it's going to, number one, it's going to kill the weeds underneath here. So that is one reason why I like tarping. Plus the ground's gonna be covered, okay? So all that, that is, all the material that is dying under there, underneath this tarp is gonna compost back in the ground. So this is like a cover crop, almost, but not exactly, okay? So I love tarping so what will happen is it'll be like my old farm i don't know if you guys remember that old farm or some of you guys may have not seen our old farm but when you keep utilizing tarps and cover crops and you tarp year after year after year you're going to create a stale weed bed which means your weed pressure is going to be less and less and less and less as time goes on and it's going to be so much easier keeping your garden weed free that's why i love tarping so much Hey, Joe. Joe. Joe, I know you shocked the world when we realized you was producing milk and you're a boy goat. But this is just about just as just as shocking as that. Yeah? And peaches, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, if I'm lying, I'm dying. She was playing around in the mud. Hey, boys. How y'all doing? Has, has, has word, is, is word getting around the farm about this? Sound like the geese are already starting to spread it over there, ain't it? Have, have y'all told Moody? Hmm? Here he comes. I see him coming. Mo! He's coming. Reckon I ought to tell him, or when you guys want to tell him what's going on? Huh? Hey, Moody. Moody. Listen, you ain't gonna believe this, but listen.